Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Nubatama Cardfight Vanguard standard deck profile for October 2019. Wanted to focus on a Nubatama deck profile. I haven't actually done one, I believe, in a good while. I can't even recall if I've done one for standard format or not. But I also wanted to focus on the Magatsu Storm uh, unit with all the new support we received in Aerial Steed Liberation for this deck profile. It's a really awesome deck. The main focus of the Magatsu Storm deck is to obviously protect your own uh, Vanguard with its own skill. Uh, this unit cannot be hit until the end of that battle, so taking advantage of those units and then also the uh, abilities that those units have when they are retired definitely do come in handy to focus on Magatsu Storm's own uh, abilities. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off for the grade uh, threes, I run four Covert Demonic Dragon Magatsu Storm. Uh, when it is attacked by your opponent's Vanguard while it is on the Vanguard Circle, you can counterblast one, retire two rear guards, and this unit cannot be hit until the end of that battle. So it makes you save your uh, Sentinels for that one attack, since you're able to obviously use Magatsu Storm's own ability to protect it from your opponent's attacks. So it's very, very useful. Uh, for this as long as you have rear guards to use uh, and you can obviously do it up to twice uh, per turn with uh, this uh, ability so very very useful for that and also once per turn on vanguard skill when your uh, rear guard is returned to your hand during your turn you can soul blast one uh, grade three draw a card and three cards uh, from your hand to rear and you can call them and they get plus 5,000 until end of turn. So just a good way to refill your rearguard circles for Magatsu Storm, just with the return to hand uh, ability. So overall, it's more of a defensive card for the deck, but still very, very good uh, just to uh, defend against your opponent and then counter attack on your turn with your own attacks that you'll go up against your opponent. I've been debating which ones I prefer for the imaginary gift for this, but most of the time I like to go for the imaginary gift particularly attack one since you'll have the option for more sentinels just to stay on the defensive against your opponent with this card i find it to be the most useful for sure when using this deck and also for backup uh, grade threes i'm running four of the new Shura stealth dragon tendo congo on it's an auto effect when retired from a front row rear guard during your opponent's turn you may draw one card so very very useful with Magatsu Storm, just being able to have that draw power with this card and Tendo Congo, basically working together for uh, the basic reason of having it on the rear with Magatsu Storm, retire it for Magatsu's own ability to protect itself, but still getting the draw so you're not minusing yourself from any of the abilities you did with Magatsu Storm. And also when rode upon, if your opponent's uh, hand has four or less cards, you may call this card to rear. So just another option when you ride on top of it with Magatsu Storm. You won't have the Soul Blast 3 ability of Magatsu Storm to rely on, but you'll still have that rear guard of Tendo Congo as a plus, and then also just to rely on for next turn for the draw, uh, skill that we've already uh, talked about. And then just to finish up the uh, grade threes, I do like to run a high grade three count just so we can keep uh, consistency with the numbers in the deck so we can have consistent imaginary gift protects and just a good high count since you can obviously, if you have too many grade threes, just when you ride them and get your protect one, you have the option to discard the cards for the sentinels, but just so you can have grade threes in the soul for Magatsu Storm as well so you can continuously ride them uh, for that second uh, ability. And also for this one on Vanguard once per turn, if your opponent's hand has four or more cards, count plus one, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. And on Vanguard as well, when your opponent's rear guard is returned to his or her hand by your card's ability, your opponent cannot call cards with the same grade as the return card until end of turn. So just a good defensive uh, maneuver with Kujigiri Congo and all of the grade threes we run in the deck have imaginary gift protect. So you can rely on that for uh, consistent ride targets. But Kujigiri Congo just has more of a uh, defensive being able to take advantage of your opponent's hand, discarding them cards, and then also limiting them on what they can call when your opponent's rear guard is returned to their hand. So very, very useful and I like to run. It just is a small backup to Magatsu Storm and Tendo Kongo with their own uh, abilities. And that is it for the grade threes. We'll now move on to the grade twos. The one I could not find was Stealth Beast Tamahagane. I know they have them here somewhere. Just need to find where I put the rest of them. I really need to organize my binders some more, but definitely need to run four Stealth Beast Tamahagane. It just works very, very well with all the different uh, Nubatama units we have for the grade three lineup. 
Uh, on rear guard, when placed, you soul blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and return it to the hand. If it was returned, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. So along with returning it to the hand, you just make your opponent discard another card, which can be very uh, useful just for limiting their hand and taking care of some rear guards, depending on what they have in their hand. And on rear, if your opponent's hand has four or less cards, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So I just like to run four of this card. For that option, you always have a you know discard when placed, and you also just have the power up uh, grade two rear guard to rely on as well. I just have the 12k grade two, which is a good power ride target if you don't have Tamahagane in the deck, but you have other uh, ride options in the deck as well to rely on aside from Tamahagane for your grade twos also to remember. And also for the grade twos, I also run three Stealth Dragon Magatsu Gale. On Vanguard or Rear, one place, Counter Blast one, Soul Blast one, draw a card, and this unit gets plus 6,000 until end of turn. I decided to drop this card down to three just because of my increased uh, grade three lineup. If I were to put in a fourth one, I'd probably just take out one of the grade threes for another copy of this card. But just giving you that plus six power and the draw card is one reason why I really do like this card. And at the end of the battle attack, put this unit into your soul and return one of your rear guards to your hand. So it also has the rear guard return ability uh, just for uh, your uh, return to hand. Gives you more options to use and return one of your rear guards, meaning you can return Tamahagane to reuse next turn as well. And it just gives you good options for the return and the draw power consistency with this card. If you didn't want to run for Tamahagane, you can even just take out one of those or you can drop the next grade two count down to two uh, just for the lineup, which is Stealth Rogue of a Thousand Blades, Obora Zakura. With this one on rear, when placed, if you have three or more units, count plus one, this unit gets plus 6,000 until end of turn. If there are one or less face up cards in your damage zone, you counter uh, charge one. It's, I believe it is counter charge one. Nope, it is actually soul charge one. <laughs> I completely misread the effect there with this one, but you still have the soul charge option. You can even drop uh, this card down to two if you wanted to put in the fourth Magatsu Gale just to keep your other grade two and three counts consistent since I really do like the grade three numbers aside from those, uh, but still very good for the plus uh, power and giving you the soul charge also just for having units on the field. So very, very useful to make um, this ability aware of just consistency for your soul. For some of your other soul blasts, especially with Magatsu Gale and Tamahagane, so you can reuse the soul blast power and the add back to hand power as well with these cards. And that is it for the grade twos. When I move on to the grade ones, I run four Stealth Fiend Sumuji Basho. With this one on rear, once per turn, Soul Blast one, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand, discards it, and this unit gets plus 10,000 until end of turn for each grade of that card. Your opponent reveals the top card of his or her deck and then puts it into her hand. So it doesn't really minus your opponent in any way with this card, but it still has a great way to power up this card, whether it be for a attack or even just to boost. And also it can get rid of vital cards in your opponent's hand depending on what they sent to the graveyard to use as well um, for uh, that uh, effect but just very very optional uh, like it for the power but like I said you can go through important cards that your opponent might want to keep or they'll just risk dropping the grade zero meaning they don't have the uh, 10,000 power for each uh, grade but you'll still have shields that you're getting rid of and other options as well. And I also run uh, four Stealth Dragon Magatsu Breath. Uh, with this one, I just have the Aboro cart in here. It's good for doubling the power of your grade three units if you don't have the Magatsu Breath. But for Magatsu Breath, when placed, if you have a Vanguard with Magatsu in its card name, this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. So just a good way to have an 11k grade one, whether it be for boost or individual attacks. And at the end of the battle, it attack or boosted. Soul Blast one and discard a card from your hand. Return all of your rear guards in the same column as this to your hand. So just another good way to recycle cards, return cards to hand, uh, very, very uh, good for sure. It's only your rear guards though, uh, the return effect uh, other than that would have been very uh, helpful against your opponent, but still like it, just like I said, for the recycle of some of your other cards in the deck as well. And I also run three Stealth Rogue of the Night Sakura Fubuki. With this one on rear when placed, if you have three or more units, discard a card from your hand. This unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. If there are one or less face-up cards in your damage zone, draw a card and then you counter charge one. So with this, you just have the option to um, you know, get back on flip damage and also just uh, having three or more 
uh, rear guards gives you that draw power to sift through cards in your deck as well. I like it at the three, just for that consistency with some of your other grade one options. And also to finish off the grade ones, I run two Tempest Stealth Rogue Fuki. If you're a, you or your opponent's rear guard was returned to your hand during this turn, this unit gets plus 6,000. So just another good boost with all the cards that return to your hand in this deck. This one's very, very helpful just for the assisted power that you can get with its own skill also. And that's it for the grade ones. We'll now move on to the grade zeros for your starter. I believe this is the only starter that Nubatama has. Stealth Dragon, Magatsu Win. Just the generic one wrote upon, draw a card, grade zero for the deck. And I decided to go with the eight critical for this build. I tried out the six draw, but you really do have enough draw consistency with just your imaginary gift protect. And the other cards are turning to your hand and their draw power alone. So I run four, Stealth Beast, Tobihiko. And I also run the Stealth four, Stealth Dragon, Kurogane for the eight critical lineup. And then for the draw trigger, I run the four Stealth Beast Mijin Gakor for the draw Sentinel, just to keep the grade one lineup open as well. And to finish off, the four Stealth Veen Zashiki Hime for the heal trigger. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, definitely looking forward to a lot of the other upcoming decks we have. So until then, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.